I love using texture paste in my creating because you can have some fun with different techniques. Here I've got grit paste snowfall as well as grit paste opaque. Both of them have some extra grit in there. So once you're done creating or once the grit paste is dry, it's got some tooth to it. So it's got some grittiness and you can hold different mediums on it. I'm just using a palette knife through a stencil. You could just smear it on and say for the snowfall one, use it as snow on the bottom of a nice scene. For the opaque one, I'm doing the same thing palette knife through a stencil but once again you could actually put it right onto your project one thing you want to make sure when you're using texture paste with a stencil is to wash your stencil as well as your palette knife right away much easier to get it off without damaging your stencil when it's still wet and we don't want to damage those stencils so after an, about an hour i let it dry that snowfall one i love how transparent and sparkly it is like it's got a shimmer it's not glitter but it's got a bit of a shimmer to it i'm not going to color it because snowfall really doesn't have shimmer to it but the opaque one i'm going to use some distress crayons here and just add some color to that texture paste and because it has that tooth it can handle that texture paste or it can handle that distress crayon it will hold on to it it's not going to just slide right off so i can put it on and i can just smear it with my finger or i can take a water brush and moisten it a little bit to spread it around a little bit cleaner you'll have a little bit more control with the water brush or some sort of tool than your finger i noticed when i was just rubbing it with my finger i was getting a little bit on the background so it just depends on how clean or how messy you want to get it but it's great to be able to do these extra techniques on top of them to enhance our creations